Hello my friends and welcome back. It is episode 54. If I can just hold my position in France. Things are gonna get better. But man, am I not confident. Oh man, Switzerland towards allies, 19%, sweet. Now that's quite the diplomatic success. for that. He's gonna hide in the port, it's not gonna save him. Fire! Nice! Oh, get grinded. <clears throat> Okay. I know this artillery is exposed and I could have plugged the gap, but I decided to defend it with this artillery instead. And this is across a river. Oh, I decided not to attack, I think. Woo! Woo! Okay. Transporting heavy goods to the front line. It's like they can't decide which part of the map they want to hit. Going after my supply. Because I went after their supply and it didn't do a damn thing. Ow. Okay, it's a little bit of an exchange. Coastal guns attack backwards. What? Let me tell you, coastal guns cannot swing 360 degrees, nor were they ever meant to. They cover all reasonable arcs of the ocean. Nice! Hit him back, yes.
Oh, I didn't even get one clap back. I need the winter. It'll help me a lot. Buy time to reinforce my lines and prepare my next assault in France. Uh, okay. You know I'm just gonna kill that, right? Why is his morale crushed? There's something weird going on with the morale here. Before the attack even commenced, his morale was below 50%. Makes me wonder if unit losses causes other units to lose morale or something. Okay, it's making repairs, that means they're done attacking. There's an Italian HQ. It still seems to me like the main way to win this war is to force Japan out. With Japan removed, the US can focus its full and undivided attention on being a pain in the ass for Germany. Starting by um, uh, shipping the entire Pacific fleet from east to west. Okay, it's my turn now. It's my turn to strike. Oh, a sub. It's been a while since we saw a sub. Second tanks of the UK. Another set of paratroopers ready to go. Okay. Oh, I low rolled twice. He should be on 7 health, now he's on 9. That's irritating. That makes a non-threat a threat.
I got a hole in my wall and I don't think there's much I can do to plug it. Okay, first tanks of the USA. Um, this hole is a problem. That tank is also a problem. One for one on the tank. Go on then. Ah, oh, nice. Where's his air support? For some reason, they do not appear to have any air support. Well, I don't know where his fighter went. But, this is huge, being able to just eliminate this for free. Does not have long range fire tech. Okay, well, suddenly that got a lot less scary. Now this critical hole in my line can be plugged. Oh, and a big clap slap for them too. Five and six, neither of these guys pose a threat. And the cavalry doesn't pose a threat either. These tanks do. And they'd probably come down here and kill the Canadian tank, but... I don't have a Canadian HQ here, so... I need to get this tank in. Okay, the morale of this unit is not high. But I can't afford a break in my line.
Okay. Do you know what? This inspires me to actually make tactical bombers. I mean, damn, if I can pick off a, a critical unit like a tank every turn, that would be amazing. Special forces here. I can't attack from I can't attack from there because a the coastal gun will get me. Okay. I'm basically feeding the special forces team to the enemy, but. Oh, nice! I'm basically feeding the special forces team to the enemy to protect the tank line. For now. We have Mark III tanks for uh, the US. I just haven't had a chance to upgrade it. US tech is close to maxing out. I'd love to go for this, but I'm going to presume that they do have fire coverage. I mean, I hit the guy that was here. I think he was here. What are the odds that they left their fighters at home? I tell you what, let's not risk a US plane because it's they're very good. Let's um risk a carrier plane. I can always uh restock this. Okay. Okay, yeah, they have a couple. Oh, they lose one. I lose four. They lose another one. I lose one. You're grounded until you're healed. One, I lose three. I lose another one. And another one. They lose one. That's got to be it, right? They've got to, like, just not have any more. Die, you wretch. Ugh. I need to move that into a friggin' thing. Look at all those planes. Come on. You have a higher chance of doing damage by bombing planes than you do like fighting them with fighters. It's really bizarre, but that's how the game works. I'm just going to presume that they'll just repair it next turn, and I will do the same.
that was really wasteful. Okay, so their air defences are down, but I'm actually not allowed to paratroop in, irritatingly. I'd love to just paratroop there and hit that, and also, you know, knowing the fact that they will then, the AI will then move all those planes because it will be like, ah. dead yet. Oh, he's got one health. Why not? That's why. <laughs> Come on. Well, you know what's funny? Is that fighter probably has or had a ton of experience, but we did like six points of damage to it. So now they'll have to repair it. At least it uh, will lose that EXP. Four, supply four, supply seven.
actually needs a major port for refit. Another submarine. The Tally Ho! <laughs> what the? I don't know who named that. But they're crazy. I'll upgrade these and then send them back. We'll have four subs sat there. Okay. Replacing all those fighters is going to be a nightmare, but okay. Current supply is not great. It's okay. Future supply will be good. I'd love to move this up. I don't think there's any way for me to do so. Okay. Well, the field artillery's got a couple of shells. All right, let's stop staring at this. I can't change it. It's just going to annoy the, uh... Just there to annoy. The Germans. Let's uh, yeah, reduce the value of the supply of that town down to zip. I suppose one benefit to the fact that their air support is completely drained. cost of some minor battleship damage. Man, they're getting they're getting the damage every time, which is irritating. Okay, all right. This unit is crippled. These these two are crippled. That is not an important unit. That is not an important unit. This is also badly damaged, so a lot of their line doesn't seem to have a huge amount of threat to it. This swarm of planes is a problem, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to address it just yet. Probably be wise for the UK to carry on with its air defense program as well. Get to the transports. Three chits remaining.
36% chance of success per turn. Why not? Okay, two, one. It has to go all the way around. Okay. It's not enough damage yet. Three supply and twenty percent morale. No. Nope. Pointless, I need to bring overwhelming force. Just a normal transport for this HQ. Kind of want it up there in the Philippines, but it will have to just wait here for now. Third Marine Division tanks. I need to know if that's defended or not. But I don't know how I can reasonably do that. You are being liberated. Do not resist. Obviously these tanks are doomed if they go there and it's friggin any defender. But if there's no defender then it's not a problem. This is an industrial center, so it's going to be even harder to break this position. Oh, come on! I just did it for the experience points, but I just ended up losing experience because I took a loss. Hopefully with a HQ available, I'll be able to support these planes properly. Speaking of which, where's the other HQ? Ah, oh, it's still being built, isn't it? Hit the 
guy's morale. Kick him in the morale. Take that as soon as possible. Interestingly, I think that there's, you know, plenty of free experience to be had by uh, raiding this convoy. So parking the whole fleet here is going to irritate the crap out of Japan. Actually, it's risky using this port because it's exposed to this unit. Oh well, whatever. I'll take the risk. The odds that that is undefended are low. So... The UK does not have the best amphibious transport technology. I'm going to move this here because it still gives me the option to attack here. Without committing me to it. Well, I think, uh, We'll concern ourselves with liberating in order here, so we'll just liberate this. Then this. We may end up helping out here. Liberate this. Then kill this. And then liberate this. It's just gonna take ages. The way that the game's turns go, it could take me years. Well. Wow. A year, maybe. Hopefully four transports is enough to break this. In theory, it should be. I got three sets of marines up for the task.
And then it's back in the transports, boys. I'll be glad when all this transport island hopping is over because it's very expensive. Nice. Nice. I'd love to, but I need to repair, don't I? Really. Let's not get too greedy for the kill. Nice. Oh, a little bit of fight back, but not much. Nice hit. I don't know how the Japanese can just keep taking these kind of losses, but hey. Oh, I could get another rank of command and control. That would be nice. I feel like we could save up for a, another rank of command and control. This unit is... Morale is completely destroyed. So what I want to do is move this here, then move this here. Upgrade this. It's redonkulously expensive to add air defense to these things. I think that's air defense. Yeah. That's another two units that they could possibly lose. They just lost one here. These two are on the edge of being destroyed. This infantry line is looking thinner and thinner and thinner every time I look at it. I mean, look at all the holes in it now. I feel like eventually it's going to break. Their morale's dropped another 1%. It could be significant in the future. Mother Russia.
slide away train. This unit is too... Its morale is too poor, it needs to come off the front line. Good hit. Oof. Oh, but still no damage. Pulling that artillery off the front line. This allows me to pull this out as well. What I'll do is I'll swap these two. I can still heal up to 10 after a swap. I could kill that anti aircraft gun as well. Although, to be honest, an anti aircraft gun on the front line does not achieve anything. Except to take up a valuable attacking space. Welcome to the front line. Allow me to fire loads of artillery at you to just reduce that morale from 100 to 25. I could fire even more if I wanted. And these guys, their morale is really poor. I'll leave these two to defend this. Ooh. That was not necessarily worth it for me. But that does reduce his readiness pretty severely, so. Okay. Okay. Two for one against the tank. I don't mind that. Oh. Oh. Right. Probably do with the HQ down there, actually. I'm going to 
assume that they mostly ran away. Stick it there, it's gonna get meat grinded. And yet, the guys in Moscow are in big trouble. As much as I don't want to feed these guys to the meat grinder by putting a 50 readiness, 50% 50 morale unit on the front line like this. Uh, the situation with the Moscow army is even worse, and the backup army is not much better, so... The meat grinder demands Mother Russia. Sacrifices more to it than that is how it has to be. Wanted to buy an army, but have to buy a core. But if they focus on this and leave the tanks alone, the tanks are going to start murderizing. Especially this one. If I can get those heavy tanks upgraded, it's going to make some big differences. I don't know if I should go for this or not. Probably not. I think we just need to hold. India. Favorite stupid trick. Shuffling the artillery. Let's put him in the town. Command, control, and logistics. That's it. That's all I've got to go for. Is there a fire down here? Nope. Doesn't really help though. India. Okay, with all the research going. You have two chits. I guess I can try and counter. If the Axis are to get anyone to join, it would be Turkey.
They can do they can do diplomacy in Sweden. That's kind of funny. I feel like the Chinese front line is really starting to thin. And that if they carry on losing units like this, eventually I'm going to be able to just attack. Which is bizarre to say, but I might be able to go for these fighter planes and bombers and such that are just sat here. If their front line completely thins out and they run out of units, Um, a pushback into China taking national morale objectives would be literal game over for Japan. Uh, well, it's still going to take time to purge them from the islands. Okay, that's it for now. I need to do some map staring. I guess my main issue is, is that I don't have... I don't have any anti-air up where it's needed. I really need some garrisons down there to free up those those anti-aircraft guns. Well, this one's on its way. Uh, actually. Yeah, I don't think I've got any spare garrisons. In your port. I also need to upgrade it because it's, you know, basic level. Alright, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.